Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, uh, my name is A. Nicole. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, you can see that my face is already done except for my eyes. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out Ulta Beauty's Black Widow Eyeshadow Palette. It's a 12 pan palette and this retails for $20. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but it's not too bad. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch all the colors. Okay, so we have the first two rows on this arm. I really need to work on swatching down farther. <laughs> and then the last row is on my hand here. So all in all, we have some nice pigments. Um, the mattes have a little bit of fallout, which is typical for an Ulta palette, and I'm used to that. The dark colors really have some pigment. I'm probably going to have to wash my hands, but I'm just, uh, my camera's dying, so I want to get to this. So, I have an array of eye brushes back there. Obviously, I'm not happy with the fact that there is no mirror, but I'm going to start out with the shade Fighter, which is just like a nude shade, brownish tan. I always put that in my crease. I've said that before. And that's just to give a nice neutral base to start out with. And then it makes it easier when you go above the crease to blend this color back in so that everything matches and it looks nice and clean. Right, so I don't want to put way too much on. Um, I think I'm going to go with... Let's see. I definitely don't want to do black. And this infiltrate color is interesting. It looks like it's like a blue purple. It looks blue here. But when I put it on my hand, there's like a purple tint to it. It's kind of weird. I am getting a new camera so that I can do close up so that you guys can actually see what I'm showing you because I know it's kind of hard to see from here. Um, so for now, I think I'm going to take Covert, which is like a dark brown color, and put that in my outer corner, just to deepen the corner. Um, I'm going to try out some of these lavish brushes. So this is the pencil brush. It's nice and just kind of stiff, but it'll be nice to place on the outer corner, and then I'll use another brush to kind of blend it inwards. Just place it. This brush really didn't pick anything up. Alright, let's try that again. There we go, that's better. It's not really that dark. It looks super dark in the pan. It's dark, but it's not as dark as it looks. And then I like to keep my outer corner, um, rounded. I don't really do the wing. Uh, yeah, definitely. This is definitely not a blending brush, but it is perfect for placing it where I want it. So I'm going to take this pink, yeah, taper blending brush. I picked the perfect brush and just kind of blend this color inward and a little into the crease, but not too much. I really just want it on the outer point of the lid. All right, and then I'm gonna do the other side. So, so far, the colors are blending nicely. Like, it's much better than other Ulta palettes I've tried. So it's going pretty good. Next, I'm going to take the shade Power, which is a deep red, and I'm going to put that on the lid using an Ulta eyeshadow brush. That is dark. And it definitely has fallout. So be careful with the darker shades. 
unless you do your face last and you can clean it up because I don't do my face last. I do my face first. I just think it's easier. And if you do your face first, just tap it on something to get the excess off so it doesn't fall onto your face. You don't want to blow on your brushes because any bacteria that's in your mouth, when you blow, it'll go onto the brush and then you'll transfer that to your eye. And that's, you don't want to do that. I'm going to go back in with the blending brush and blend this together. And then I'm going to pick my crease brush back up and take some more of that first shade and just mix it with the outside. And I'm trying to do this as quick as possible because my camera battery is dying. All right, so Got my crease brush. I'm going to take some more of Fighter and I'm just going to put that up on top again and just blend this up a little bit. I went up way too farther than I wanted it to, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do now, since that went up too far, is I'm going to take Agent, which is a really light color with the same brush, and I'm just going to place that on top of the part that went up too high, because it's really close to my skin tone, and it'll just make it blend and look a lot nicer. So it has kind of like a tapered effect. much better now I will clean it up as soon as I'm done here just take a little bit off the top oh I always tap my eyeshadow with a shimmer so the eye is basically done I'm going to take fiery here and the reason, that's the reason I did this color. I'm going to take Fiery because I'm going to try this one. And this is just an eye shading brush. I picked up a lot of products. And I'm going to put that on the lid. This is the whole reason I picked the color scheme I did because I really wanted to try that shimmer. It looks really different in the pan than it's coming off of my lid, but it is still really pretty. And then at the end, I will post a close-up, since this camera doesn't really focus, um, I will post a close-up of what my eyes actually look like at the end of the video. We'll add it at the end. That's a really pretty color. I really like that. So next I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to take Power, which is the deep red color, right here, and line it across my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my smudge brush and just smudge it out a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take the liner brush again and I'm going to put fiery over top of that.
going to take this really small fine liner brush and I'm going to put, let's do Relentless here. It has like a pink tint to it and I'm going to place that in my inner corner. Now when I put colors in my inner corner, I don't just pop it in the corner. I actually blend it in to my current eyeshadow a little bit. Like I take it on the inner corner of my eyelid. Like this, and then I put it down and then put it up to kind of blend it in with the actual lid too. So it's not just a pop of color in the eye. In just the corner, I like to blend it in with the actual eye color too. Alright, so that's it for eyeshadow. With the colors I just used, I do like this palette. I will definitely use it again. The reds worked really well. I may do another one using like these shades here. Maybe a pop of black. I don't know. Black is so hard to work with. So, um, I'm not going to do eyeliner today. But I am going to use Ulta Beauty's Bold Ambition Mascara. And it has a very interesting applicator, which I really like. I'm sure you guys can't see it. Then for lipstick, I just picked a nude. And this is Appeal Cosmetics. This is their Mood shade. So I'm going to set with my all nighter setting spray. This is a sample size. I'm going to keep using my samples until I need to get a full size. Alright. So I hope you guys like the look that I created. All in all, um, so far that palette is good. I mean, from the swatches, it does look like it's a really good, really well put together palette color scheme goes together. So I will definitely use that again in another video. But that is all I have for now. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye now.